On today's Amateur Surgery Hour, Problem Nails Solved. Well, hello everyone, Nash here again, and today I'm going to be taking a look at this San Renmu 709SUC-GU-T4. I purchased this very nice little blade from Gearbest. And don't forget guys, that Gearbest are actually celebrating their third anniversary this year. So I'll be putting some uh, extra links at the very top of the description so that you guys can go along and uh, check out exactly what's going on with Gearbest at the moment. They've got lots of exciting stuff and you might be interested in it. I know I am. Okay then, so what do we have here today? Well, it's a very nice little slip joint. So there's no locking involved. As you can see, no locking whatsoever. Um, we have a uh, 2.6 or 66 millimeter long blade here. Um, close up a second. We also have a uh, glass breaker on the end. And then we have a couple of other little tools handily kicking about. We have this um, strap cutter and Phillips style driver here. And then over the other side, we have a uh, bottle opener and flat bladed screwdriver. And we also have a very nice pocket clip here. Looks like it's a fairly decent, fairly deep carry clip here. And it's um, quite strong too. Uh, we have um, what they call apricot. Uh, it's almost like um, a hound's tooth style pattern of a uh, G10 going on here. We have a, a G10 liner up the centre as well and we also have um, stainless steel liners as well let's um, take a close look at this little beauty shall we guys as you can see this blade has one heck of a belly on it here look look at that and we've also got a, a recurve slight recurve here and a large sharpening choil too um, we have the SRM logo at the top uh, a single thumb stud, some uh, quite nice jimping, my thumb is not slipping on that at all. Uh, it's hollow ground as you can see. If you flip it over the other side, we can see that the uh, it is a wind runner design. There's the model number. Here's the pocket clip. As you say, it's a fairly deep ride pocket clip by the looks of things. Um, a very nice pattern on the G10 there. Uh, it's held together with some uh, torque screws. Here we have the uh, glass breaker which looks like it's got some uh, tungsten in there as well. What have we got on the other side? Let's take a close look at those um, scales shall we? You can see that nice pattern going on in there look. Um, these uh, scales are uh, quite thick too. G10, you've got some uh, G10 at the centre as well. Um, here's the two uh, tools. And you can see in there the, um, the two springs that uh, hold the blade open or closed. Now just here, you can see the two ball detents. If I can uh, open the blade, you will see Hopefully, there we go. Break it again. But you can see them uh, dropping into the their respective holes in the blade. There we are. Now I've got to say, guys, I'm still undecided whether uh, I like this blade design or not. Really, <clears throat> this is one of the one of the reasons I've held off buying one of these for such a long time. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's quite my favourite style of blade, but uh, it's nice and sharp and pointy. Uh, we'll see how it gets on chopping stuff up in a moment or two, but um, 
as I say, I'm quite unsure. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay, I suppose, but um, I just happened to be watching um, We All Juggle Knives a couple of weeks ago, and he had one of these on there, and I thought, hmm, it looks all right. So I uh, decided to go along and have a, Actually, Gearbest only had nine left when I uh, went to purchase this one, and they went really, really quickly, too. They were sold out in a couple of hours or so. Very quickly they went. As I say, um, you know, the design of this blade is, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's my favourite. But having said that, it's, uh, it's a very comfortable knife to hold. There's no particular hot spots on it at all. Um, you can break the, break the hold of the blade quite easily. It's got nothing to um, stop the blade uh, coming and chopping your finger up a bit, I guess. But um, it's not a bad knife. So I'm just, uh, maybe if I was to swap the blade out for another blade, that'd be an interesting, uh, an interesting idea, wouldn't it? Hmm. I wonder if I could do that. I wonder what blade I could uh, pop in there instead. All right, guys, let's get the uh, tape measure in. So you can see uh, what we're dealing with here. As I say, we've got a 2.6 inch or 66 mil long blade. Overall length, you're looking at 162 mil. Uh, closed length, 95 mil, which would be just the handle in, so that's about right. What about some um, size comparisons? Okay, here's one of my favourites. Now, I like the blade on this one. This is the uh, 7094 STX. I do like the blade on that. Maybe I could... Um, that's an interesting point. I wonder if I could swap the blade from this to that. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Hmm. That's a similar. It's a, what operates in the same principle. It's a slip joint, as you can see. It's got the glass breaker tip, and it's also got both of the uh, exactly the same tools here as the uh, 7095 has. They're exactly the same tools, as you can see. I've uh, actually got a review of that, so if you want to go, if you want to see how these tools actually work, go along and I'll, I'll put you a link to this to the review of this, and you can go along and see how these tools actually work. Um, another uh, size comparison is the 7078 MUX. Maybe that blade would fit in there as well. Maybe we can get this blade in there. Hmm. Ow. Oh, look at that guys, check that out. Well that was well done then, wasn't it? Brilliant. Oh, good grief. What an idiot. Yeah, that was clever then guys. Uh, it's made it bleed a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, carry on with the test then. Let's get that blade out of the way before we chop ourselves with it again. And finally we have this seven 105 SUX almost a similar blade uh, this particular one keep your fingers out of the blade this time this one just has a single screwdriver bit on here and as I've got a review on this one too if you want to go and have a look I'll put links to all of these knives in the description below and uh, yeah so I've took a nice chunk off me end of my finger here then <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so as if uh, slicing your fingers not enough, let's um, see what the uh, 7095 is like slicing paper and stuff, shall we? Let's give this a go. Well, this one's been sharpened quite nicely, I think. That's very effortless, is that? In fact, that's uh, quite nice. We All Juggle Knives gave his a B plus for sharpness. I think I'd give mine an A, actually. That's nice. How about some cardboard look? See what we can do chopping cardboard up. Yeah, it's just as uh, it likes that too look. Yeah, no effort required. Get rid of that for a moment. Um, got some, uh, I can untangle it from in here. So we can actually get some out of it. There we go, right in. 
got this uh, 7020 wire here. Let's see if we can chop through that. Hopefully it can. I'm not sure what the uh, material this blade's made from. Um, it could be uh, 8CR13. Uh, I have seen it on another website as down as 12C27 Sandvik, but it just doesn't mention it on the blade at all. Um, I'll get the chopping block in in a minute. There's my cheapo rope. There it is again. I'll pick that up in a minute. I'm going to need that. That's the uh, large size uh, zip tie just gone on the floor. So if you fold this over a time or two, look. Oh, uh, we'll get the blade in there nicely. And here we go, guys. Yeah, that's effortless. Yep. Very easy. I'll leave that on the floor for the time being. It's a rope gone on the floor as well. And let's get Link's seatbelt out. So how well it can chop through seatbelt, shall we? How's my finger doing? I think it's just about stopped bleeding. That's going to be sore, you know that, don't you? Right, in. get it in there. And, yep. It's quite quiet as well, look. It's effortless and quiet, the way it chops through there. You didn't even hear it, did you? Give it the old piercing test. Should pierce this, it's quite nice with this uh, point. Yeah, and it does, look. I'll get a chopping block in in the mouth. Let's just pick up this. We'll use and have a go at that in a minute. But here's the uh, package strapping, the good thick package strapping. I wonder if it'll squeak. No, but it sliced it off very easily. Very sharp, this blade is. Can we um, chop it up? Of course we can. Yeah, there we are. Put that just there. Zip tie. Should be able to chop a lump off the end of it quite easily. Yep. Fold it over. Can I keep hold of it? If not, I'll get some pliers up here and we'll keep hold of that away. Oh, blimey, yeah, I'm struggling to keep hold of it, guys. Oh, we've done it. Did it in the end, look. Okay, chopping block time, I think. See what this belly's like. Just roll it through this. Uh... Yeah, look at that. Chopping through there quite effortlessly. Look, brilliant. Doesn't even notice it's there, look. Try the rope. Yep. Look at that. What about the seatbelt? What's the tip like for um, slicing? Yep, very good. So, I might not like the design of the blade, but it cuts very well indeed, guys. All right. Right, we better give this glass breaker a go then, guys. Let's have a look. Wow, I'm sure you heard that, and I'm sure you can see that as well, look. That nice score along there. Check that out. What about the old chips? Yep. Chip that up quite nicely, guys. So there we go. Proper tungsten uh, glass breaker tip then. Right then, we better give these um, screwdrivers a bit of a go then, see if they're any good. Oh, hang on. Better give this belt cutter a go then. Well, that's um, exceptionally sharp too, guys. Hmm. What about cardboard? Well, no, doesn't like cardboard then. So what about what it's actually designed to do then? Let's have a look. Yep. All right, let's try getting some screws in, guys. Make a hole. 
Uh, we'll start with this uh, largish Phillips screw here. Pop it into the hole. Get the uh, driver in there. It's a little unsteady at first. Here it goes. Uh, the only problem I have with these uh, non-locking driver bits is uh, if you use a lot of pressure on them, they will actually collapse. So you do have to be a bit careful while, while using these little fellows. That's not done too bad so far. I don't think this screw head's particularly too good because I've used it a time or two and it's getting a bit rounded off. Okay. Moving along to the uh, slotted uh, bit, the uh, slotted uh, screw, slot head screw. Make a hole for it. If I can get me uh, all out, there we are. Let's give it a go, guys, see what happens. So far, so good. Obviously, it doesn't have the same um, grip as the uh, Phillips did. You can hear it making some nice noises. But, let's support it a bit. Oops. There we go. So you can, you can actually use them at a pinch, put screws in, they are quite handy. But as I say, they will, um, if you put too much pressure on them, they will collapse and they will have your knuckles. So there we go guys, and once again we have no damage to either driver tip look. So uh, you know, San Renmu do turn out some good quality kit. Okay then guys, there we have it, the San Renmu 7095SUC-GU-T4 then. Very nice little slip joint knife. Um, I got mine from Gearbest. I will put you some prices in the description below because they are subject to change as we all know. Um, what do you think? Are you uh, thinking of getting one of these little fellows? I believe they've got more stock in at Gearbest as of today. So I had a look, they've got a uh, stock in. So if you uh, want one, you're interested in one, pop along, pick one up. Uh, very nice, very comfortable look. I can get uh, four fat fingers on here. So it's quite a nice, uh, comfortable, um, ergonomic uh, design. As I say, I'm just not sure about this blade shape really, but it does what it's meant to do. It's sharp and pointy and that'll do. Okay then guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, um, you can click like, you can share it with your friends, and you can also subscribe. If you haven't done so already or you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to click on this little button here, giving you the option uh, to receive um, updates when I publish new videos. Okay. Um, you can also follow me on uh, Instagram too. And that is where I post up all of this new kit that I get in, as and when I get it in, usually on the same day. All right then, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review then. If you did, please feel free to pop by again in the near future, because I'm sure I'll have something uh, equally interesting for you guys to take a look at. And um, yeah, okay, I'll catch you again soon then, guys. See you later then. Bye. Rough.